history is really special to the city of Seattle because um, it's kind of the holiday tree. It's the largest evergreen down here and uh, every year it gets uh, decorated with holiday lights. Well, everybody in our uh, urban forestry department's been worried about this tree because it's been looking uh, rather shabby lately. Uh, a couple of years ago, the top broke out of it, and so we were trying to determine what to do with it. Well, what we're out here doing is um, implementing our soil reconditioning project. We've uh, used a, an air spade together with a vector truck pull out material that the tree is currently trying to root in, but it's, it's, it's struggling. And you can see that just by virtue of the, of the density of the canopy uh, as the tree currently stands. We met with James Urban, a noted uh, horticulturist and landscape architect. We had him actually come out and uh, meet with us and talk about what would be a good protocol for, for bringing this tree back to life. And uh, so this is the first phase of it, is that we're doing what's called vertical mulching and we're going down about four feet using an air spade and a vector truck which is like a big vacuum truck and excavating a hole down that deep that's about approximately eight inches six inches in diameter that's going to be um, then backfilled with uh, the cedar grove compost behind me and then the idea is that it's going to open up development for gas exchange get some more nutrients down in there get some soil building processes going on deeper in the soil profile and allow um, greater penetration of moisture down there. We went in a couple of years ago and we very thoroughly pruned the tree. We took out all the dead uh, branches and dead foliage and it turns out that that was what was so attractive to the birds because they haven't really favored it since. And um, by taking away the, the constant um, impact of birds in terms of what the droppings do to the soil condition and what they do to sort of choke out the foliage and its ability to work naturally. The tree was just, it, it just had too many things going against it. So we've made that change. We've made it so the birds don't like it. Uh, we've made it so that light has a better chance to penetrate and, and get to uh, areas at the base of the tree. And, and now with the soil reconditioning, we're hoping the tree will fully um, uh, recover, fill out, develop new branches and new foliage, and will be able to sustain itself and serve to um, beautify downtown Seattle every winter in particular uh, for many years to come. It's a really good project for us to participate in. The citizens of, of Seattle participate in recycling programs, green waste and food waste um, that's turned into compost, and it's really nice when it can go back into the community in such a positive way.